Hello everyone, my name is uh, David Youssefi. Uh, I work at, uh, the, at CNES, the French Space Agency. Uh, I'm a ground segment uh, development engineer. And the presentation raises the issue of the, the noise in uh, point cloud um, uh, reconstructed by uh, satellite imagery. Uh, I will begin with um, an introduction about the context, about uh, CO3D and uh, the, the, the issue of, uh, no, uh, of noise in point cloud. After that, I, I will talk about uh, CARS and Pandora, uh, two open source, source software uh, integrated in, uh, in the growth segment. Uh, I will talk about the methodology of uh, the method presented in the paper and after that, the results, and uh, to finish, a uh, conclusion about uh, CO3D and, um, and the tools we, we developed. Uh, the CNES, uh, in partnership with Airbus, uh, developed uh, a new constellation of satellites. Uh, the mission is, is called uh, CO3D. The aim of the mission is, uh, reconst is the reconstruction of, the, um, of uh, the Earth in 3D. Uh, we will produce with four satellites. Uh, each satellite have, uh, has four bands, blue, green, red, and near infrared at uh, 50 centimeter. With this uh, satellite, we will produce a global digital surface model at uh, one meter ground sample uh, distance. And uh, for your information, at uh, 15 meter and uh, 20 uh, and 30 meter, the DSM will be de delivered as uh, open data. Uh, to talk about open source, uh, we we also have open source include included in the ground segment. We have two tools. Uh, the first one is CARS, uh, satellite multi-view stereo framework, and uh, Pandora, uh, which is uh, integrated in, in CARS to, to make the, um, the matching part. Uh, these two tools are available under the APH uh, V2 license. Uh, and we think that uh, a worldwide production of, the, of, of this uh, 3D information will make a real co contribution to the creation of, uh, of digital twins. Why we try to denoise point cloud? Um, in uh, satellite imagery, we have a uh, small number of images. Uh, we have a lower re resolution than drone and aerial photograph, uh, photography. Um, and uh, we have um, a ripple uh, effect uh, on, uh, on uh, surface, uh, uh, which, uh, which are flat elements. So the, the aim of the, of the denoising is uh, reducing the ripple effect, but uh, without uh, destroying uh, the reconstructed elements. So we try to smooth out uh, flat elements, of, uh, such as uh, rooftops or and roads, and uh, we try to uh, retain uh, the, the sharp edges uh, without uh, destroying the, the, the building or, or the separation between the buildings. Uh, now, I, I don't know if uh, everybody knows how works the photogrammetry, so uh, I will explain quickly the, the principle. Uh, and uh, in, in satellite imagery, we, we have um, images from a, a agile satellite, for example. It's one satellite, and during, uh, is, um, during the, the mission, he, he captures a first uh, image, and after a second image, so it's, a, it's the same satellite, but two images are, are taken at two different times. In the CO3D mission, we will have a satellite constellation, uh, so it's not the same, uh, there are not the same satellites, but we will have two images at the same time to reconstruct uh, mo moving elements. Um, the principle of uh, photogrammetry is uh, like uh, our eyes to, to see the, the perspective. We have 
two, uh, two or three images of the same scene, but uh, observed from different point of view. Uh, we, we therefore need at least two images to reconstruct the surface in, uh, in, uh, in 3D. Uh, in satellite imagery, the difference of point of view is uh, quantified by uh, a B over H ratio. Uh, B is the base, the distance between the two satellites, and H their altitude. And depending of this B, uh, B over H, you can uh, reconstruct the streets or uh, be more precise on the height uh, of uh, the buildings. We don't need um, just the images to, to recreate the, the Earth uh, in 3D. We also need uh, a geometric model to know when the satellite and which is the um, position of the satellite when it takes a picture. So um, the geometric models is uh, uh, represented as a rational co poly polynomial coefficient. It's a, it's a list of coefficients uh, which uh, provide a, a compact representation of, uh, of uh, this uh, geometric model. And uh, thanks to these uh, RPCs, uh, we can know for uh, pixels, uh, a line and a column, um, as a um, position uh, out the ground and draw, for example, the line of sight and uh, retrieve the, the point uh, reconstruct. I will explain uh, step by step the, 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 the reconstruction, the 3D reconstruction. Um, the first step is to resample the images in uh, um, epipolar geometry. It's like uh, rotate or, or resize the image to um, allow us to search the displacement of the pixels along the lines. Okay. Uh, after that, we match uh, for each pixels in the left image uh, the, um, the, right, uh, the right corresponding pixel. And when we obtain a disparity map, which contain all the, all the shifts uh, between, uh, between the two images. And this, uh, these shifts are converted in, into positions. Uh, and uh, thanks to these positions in the two images, and thanks to the geometrical models, we can draw lines, uh, the, the, the direction of, uh, of, uh, of the pixel observed. And uh, when we draw these two lines, we only have to intersect the, the two lines to have the position uh, of the of the pixels. All the pixels, um, we all the position we are, we succeed to intersect allow us to obtain a point cloud. So uh, longitude, the latitude, and the height of uh, of each pixel observed, and we obtain a point cloud. Uh, this point cloud is a non-regular uh, is a non-regular list position list. Uh, so to be uh, uh, easily uh, used for uh, for the user uh, before QGIS 3D, um, we we need to convert it in a digital surface model. Uh, digital surface model is a regular grid with a fixed space in uh, in uh, x and y. So for each uh, cell of the, of the ground, we, we compute the average of the, of the point, uh, and we obtain the altitude uh, on, each, uh, on each point at the, at the ground. And we obtain a, a map, um, a map uh, of eight, but we can also um, uh, make um, 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 a mean of, uh, of colors to obtain uh, another map, uh, which allows us to understand for each uh, element the, 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 the element which is reconstructed in, uh, in 3D. Now I will talk about the methodology to, to denoise uh, the point cloud and the proposed uh, method. We, we use the bilateral filtering uh, of uh, Julie Digne and, and uh, Carlo de Franquis. Uh, 
the the principle of uh, of bilateral filtering is we have a, a point to denoise and we have a neighborhood points in uh, in the scene uh, i draw a simulated profile uh, in yellow uh, here And uh, the, to, to denoise the point cloud, we will see all the points of, uh, neighbor, of the neighborhood. And uh, thanks to the distance, we, we have a, 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 wave, uh, a wave sum, a wave mean. And we obtain a plane, uh, a plane by uh, regression. So we know uh, in which direction the point, the point have to go to be denoised. And thanks to the normal distance, we can move the point to uh, his new position. You can observe that the, 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 reg the regression plane is not aligned with, uh, the, with the roof uh, because we, we use all the points but just using uh, the distance. But uh, there are points used during the denoising which now allows to, to uh, this roof. And so we can iterate uh, over this uh, bilateral filtering. We we try to add some constraint to the bilateral filtering to improve it. Uh, the first uh, constraint uh, is about uh, the so-called uh, ambiguity concept. The concept of ambiguity is uh, is uh, uh, um, is contained in uh, in a Pandora tool. Uh, Pandora is a tool we, uh, which does the matches between uh, between the, the two images. For each uh, pixel in the left image, we we compare all the pixels in the right image, and we obtain cost curve profiles. Um, and w for for pixels which have only one uh, correspondent pixel, the, the profile is non-ambiguous, but uh, in homogeneous uh, area, for example, you can have uh, ambiguous uh, profiles. This uh, cost curves um, is uh, derivated to ambiguity curves profile, uh, thanks to this uh, equation, uh, and we obtain um, this curve, uh, which um, and the, the integral of the, these curves uh, give us the, the the ambiguity of uh, each point, or if um, if we compute the, the formula uh, at the, at the, of confidence, we can we can obtain the confidence uh, of uh, each point and know uh, which points we are uh, sure to to have a, a good eight and. Uh, uh, and uh, so uh, the, the pixels uh, we are more ambiguous. We use uh, also the color of uh, of the point to to um, to compute the, the mean of uh, the, uh, the the weight of the of the denoising and the confidence. And so we obtain a new plane estimation, a better plane estimation. And the points uh, with uh, the normal distance allow us to to go in the right direction. We add another another constraint: it's a projection of a line of sight, because the the point we obtain uh, thanks to photogrammetry uh, were uh, uh, before uh, not uh, stay in a, and don't stay on a, on line of sight, but it's impossible because uh, the, uh, the point uh, uh, where, where obtained, uh, was obtained by, uh, by uh, intersection of uh, line of sight. So we obtain a more uh, realistic solution. And we can iterate over this, uh, over this method. For the, for the result, we, we have an experiment set up of, uh, uh, with, uh, tri uh, with triple uh, Pleiad images on uh, Nice and Montpellier. Um, and uh, we have uh, uh, various uh, landscape, but uh, uh, urban oriented, and we use uh, LIDAR HD uh, as a ground truth. We have uh, the digital surface model and the LIDAR HD uh, in this slide. We make um, an ablation study. You, you have the, the first, uh, the initial point cloud, uh, uh, a, bit, uh, a bit noisy. 
If we simple uh, uh, filtering, uh, we, if uh, we simple filter the, the point cloud, we have uh, roofs and streets very smooth, but uh, we lost the, um, all the details of, uh, of, the, of the roofs. But if you use colors uh, during the, the bilateral filtering, the textures are, are recovered. You can see also with the projection uh, a better uh, roof reconstruction and uh, building separation. And also we try to add the ambiguity and uh, uh, thanks to the ambiguity, we have uh, building separation and details uh, in the street retrieved. Uh, we, can, uh, we can see in the, in the image that uh, we, lost the, um, uh, we lost the separation of the roof and thanks to ambiguity, we retrieve it. And the result of the, of the method, uh, of the complete method. Uh, we try also to, to uh, uh, quantitatively um, uh, qualify uh, our, our method. Uh, it was very difficult to, to, uh, to prove quantitatively the results we, we, see, uh, we see qualitatively, but we see that, uh, that the method, uh, with the method we obtain uh, uh, better results. Uh, we have more uh, points uh, near to the to the reference, and uh, the, um, with the iteration, the method is uh, is more robust. Okay, conclusion and perspective. So uh, we propose a new method uh, built upon uh, uh, bilateral filtering. Um, we we add. Uh, um, uh, um, we integrate the, the so-called ambiguity provided by a correlator, and uh, we respect the acquisition condition to be to have a, a new point cloud more realistic. Um, we we need to for for the for, to continue to to adjust the contributions of the, of the different. Um, um, of the different constraints, the distance, the memberships to the same object. We, we use color for that, but uh, we can use a, a classification, for example, uh, and the ambiguity. Um, the classic uh, quantitative metrics uh, show that uh, we don't uh, was uh, uh, um, the result uh, imposing a strong constraint on a point deplacement. Uh, but um, I, I, we think that the um, uh, that the qualitative uh, analysis seems uh, uh, seems to show a good result, but uh, but uh, we must uh, improve the metric to prove it uh, quantitatively. And uh, um, a last slide about uh, CO3D mission. So it's a mission which will be this mission will be launched in uh, 2025 uh, with uh, one meter uh, with a DEM of uh, one meter accuracy. Um, and um, uh, uh, we, we will um, uh, provide um, uh, f uh, 15 meter and, and uh, 30 meter uh, freely uh, in open access uh, DEM. And you can find uh, all, the, all the tools uh, we, I, I present, uh, like cars to reconstruct the surface, Pandora for, for matching. Uh, and we have also two, two software, Bulldozer, which is a, a DSM to DTM converter, and a GEM Compare, which allow you to uh, compare and um, compare your GEM to a, a reference uh, a leader, uh, to a reference leader, for example. Thank you for your attention, and if you have questions. Okay, uh, thank you. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so any questions for David? We have around five minutes. Uh, hi. For the talk, uh, um, uh, how do you choose to, to define which? Uh, uh, I mean, for the pond neighborhoods, uh, how do you define those uh, neighborhoods for uh, pond for the pond that you want to denoising? I, I, I don't. Uh, how do you define those neighborhoods? Uh, I, I, I define the neighbor the the the, 
the number of neighborhoods uh, used. Yep. It's another parameter of, uh, of the method. Um, uh, we use the CAD tree to, to know the neighborhood, uh, uh, the points we, we have to, to, to choose. But uh, with the wave, uh, the, uh, the wave distance, for example, wave color, etc., uh, even if we have a, a, big, uh, a big neighborhood, the, the wave will decrease. So it's not a, it's a, it's a, it's a computational, uh, uh, it's a computational uh, things to, to, to know this, uh, uh, the, the size of the neighborhood, I think. Some more questions? Uh, have you explored the possibility to adapt some classical methods like anisotropic diffusion for this kind of data? I, I don't uh, uh, Have you explored the uh, possibility to adapt more classical algorithms like, for example, anisotropic diffusion for this kind of data? Something from the uh, anisotropic diff diffusion algorithms for noise removal. Uh, have you explored this, uh, uh, this kind of thing? the fusion of the point cloud. Um, because for the, for, the, for the colors, for example, we have to make some uh, regimetric uh, adaptation to be, to be sure. And, uh, and before that, for, um, um, in the point cloud fusion with, uh, with cars, we, we, uh, we, uh, we concatenate point clouds before to, to make the, to make the denoising. I don't know if I, I answer the question, but uh, no. Okay. Ah, okay. We can discuss Some more questions? because uh, I don't. Uh, There are Python libraries, and they can be installed with a pipe install uh, only. So it's very simple to, to install it. We we make with uh, Dimitri uh, a workshop uh, about it in a collab. And it's very simple to install. 